Hi guys, this is Jason here with the Automobile Recap. It's Oregon beat Texas 30 to 7. It was a 20 to 7 ball game favoring the Ducks. Um, the defense played really great. We're going to talk about them later. Let's talk about some quick stats. Oregon won the 30 yards battle 469 to 236 for Texas. Um, 253 through the air for Oregon and 56 for Texas. Um, 216 on the ground for the Ducks. 180 for um, 180 for Texas. Penalties was a little concerning for me. 11 penalties for Oregon, 87 yards, and Texas only had four penalties for 35 yards. It wasn't ACC three. Those rats missed a couple of calls. I'm not going to get into that. But um, Marcus Mayota, first time healthy since the first half of the UCLA game, I would say, or even the, you could even say the game before that. Um, it's been a while for him to be healthy. Um, he had a good game. I, I would give it like a C plus. Seen better from him. Um, 18 out of 26, 253, one a touchdown, and 15 rushes for 133. Texas is passing the game with non-existent, to say the least. Case McCoy, 8, eight out of 17, 48 yards, two INTs, which was two pick sixes. And Swoops, the freshman, came in a couple of series, one out of six, eight yards. So it didn't really do much. The MVP for Texas in this ball game has to be Malcolm Brown. Um, 20 carries, 130, and one touchdown. Um, Texas only had one good drive, and then that was the touchdown drive. Just hope that Houston native five catches. 104 yards for one touchdown. Broke the single season receiving the mark for Texas. So, um, let's get into um, I want to say my salute to Mac Brown. Um, Class Act um, really did the Texas program good. Um, and he stepped down, um, he resigned. So, I I hope the wish for the best for Mac Mac Brown. Uh, Nick Audiardi for Oregon defensive coordinator. Um, 24 years, um, great guy. Um, class act, um, great, great. Um, he's, a, he's a good guy. Um, he has done a phenomenal job with the Ducks team over the years. Um, the 94 World Bowl team lost to Penn State. That was a good defense. Um, 0-1, um, 2011. He did a phenomenal job against Cam Newton in the BCS job. BCS title game. Um, the defense really played inspired football on make um, today, um, last night. And I just hope that we get somebody not to fill his shoes, but to be the right guy. Um, and that's not a big name. So we need it to get the right guy for the defense corner of the job. And it was the best wishes for Nick Audioli and Mike Brown. Two great coaches, two great heirs at this school coming to tune in. Last night, my thoughts on the 2014 as we turn the page on this season, 11 and the two. Um, good at season, I, I would say, pretty good at season. 11 and the two in the March first year, I would say that's a good season. 2014, I'll say right now with Marcus Mariota coming back, preseason wise, and I'm not a guy with that gets all hype with 
preseason post. But preseason post, I expect Oregon to be number five. Um, in the, number, the top five or top ten, or even higher. Um, Scott's the limit. Um, we got all of our top games at home. Michigan State comes here. Um, that's you. Stanford that comes here. Um, I think the toughest road game we have, I would say Oregon State. So, um, so it'll be a great year. Um, videos for me. Um, I'll make a post. I'll go to the spring game May 3rd. Um, I'll post a video about the spring game, um, what I saw, and a recruiting video. Um, I will make a video, recruiting video um, the week of signing day. Won't be on signing day, but I'll be the week. Um, if you want to get a hold of me, um, my Twitter account, J Humphrey Dutch, J H U M P H R Y D U C K S. So J Humphrey Dutch on Twitter and Facebook. You could always. Um, that's me and the thing on Facebook. So, once again, a great season for Oregon. So, um, go Ducks. So, have a great, great New Year's Eve and have a better 2014. And have a good day.